Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. I'm very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. All right, come in for a group Man United hug. And damn, do we need it? What the fuck is going with, on with Manchester United Football Club? We've signed one young Welsh lad, and that's it. That's it. Rumours, innuendos, what's going on? And yesterday, yesterday, right, we heard that Sir Alex Ferguson wanted a former Leicester player to be our director of football, but Ed Woodward wants a former player to do it. Why the fuck are we still discussing the director of football in the middle of the transfer window? This should have been done five or six months ago. What's going on? And we're still discussing it. At the club, they're still disagreeing. What a mess. I fear for this club. We all do. There's no secrets anymore in football. Fans know what's going on. Fans are not stupid. What's going to happen on July the 1st when Solskjaer comes back for pre-season training? Are the excuses going to begin? Are the David Moyes type excuses going to begin? We just couldn't do it. We couldn't sign. It's so hard signing players. There's not many good players out there. We will not take this bullshit. There will be a boycott. A lot of fans are fed up. They want the Glaziers out of this club, but it's not going to happen. So I see a disastrous season ahead. And I've been saying it since we brought Ollie in, right? And I was enjoying that 13 match, uh, that 13 match unbeaten run that um, Sir Alex Ferguson was doing the tactics for. Oh, come on. It's pretty obvious because once he started doing the tactics, we were shit again. Basically, right, we have got a bargain basement, cheap budget manager with cheap wages, legend of the club, great player, great guy, but he should not be the manager of Manchester United. He's unproven. And the only reason he's here, the only reason he's here is because he's cheap and he nods his head like a fucking duck. It's as simple as that. What is going on? Matter signed up for three years. If we re-signed um, Juan Mata for another year, I wouldn't be but hurt about it. Three years, 31-year-old. Jones, Smalling, big, lucrative contracts. Why, why, why? Because we have no interest in signing young players at the right age to accept a few new challenges. That's what Fergie used to do. And I'm fed up of saying this is what Sir Alex Ferguson used to do. It sounds so pathetic. It's, it sounds like... The Liverpool fans in the good old days, oh, yeah, we're going to be great again one day. That's the problem. We keep on looking back to Sir Alex because it's been so shit in the past six years. I think Sir Alex, I've done videos on here before. I blame Sir Alex partly to what's going on because if it wasn't for his relationship with um, JP McManus and the other guy, right, and he didn't try and nick their horse, then they wouldn't have tried to get revenge by selling to the Glaziers and we would still be a, a freaking PLC. So he's got a lot of responsibility here, but he gave us so many great years. He made the impossible happen for us as a club. And I will never, ever forget that. Now I'm hearing Paul Scholes used to put bets on and made loads of money. What's all that about? What I'll say about that quickly is that doesn't change the kind of footballer he was. I will always see him as a club legend and I always respect him for that. But our heroes are fallible. He did a naughty thing, but I've done much, much worse. And I'm not going to go into that because I don't want my 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 account suspended. Do you know what I mean? I mean, sleeping with other people's girlfriends and wives is deemed immoral, isn't it? So we should really not talk about that. Um, so so much going on with this with this club. And do you know what? I feel sorry for my fellow Man United fans because I can see you so eager to get signings. I can see you you know clicking onto YouTube videos out of desperation. And there's nothing going on. Do I think we're going to sign anyone else? I have my doubts. I think we could just turn up to pre-season with this young Cardiff, uh, you know, Welsh lad who's impressive, who's got potential, but it doesn't change anything within our team. Our team needed a dramatic re rebuild of five to seven players. That, that, might, that may seem excessive, but that's what we needed. But we didn't sell the dead wood, as some people put it. We didn't. We have left players who are just either too old to take a challenge or are just simply not good enough to be Manchester United players. But then I think to myself, that 13-match unbeaten run, where did that come from? If they're that crap, how did they do that? I don't know. Do you know? So the club's in a mess. We're run by the wrong people. 
They're looking at the bottom line all the time to make more profit from us. But what's going to happen in the next couple of years, if this continues, the fans will lose interest. They'll walk away. They'll boycott the club. And then that's when things get really, really bad. I can only see bad things. I see a bad future. But what do you think? What do you think is going on with this club? Do you know? The truth is, nobody knows. All we're seeing is some very, very odd decisions. And I don't see it changing. Do you?